Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm going to address 5G health concerns, and this information is also going to help you increase your energy. So a lot of people are very concerned about the rollout of 5G that is happening. One of the first things you want to do is you want to clean up your home environment because for most of us, that's the biggest source of radiation. So today I'm going to cover wireless radiation. There's also wired uh, radiation or radiation from our electric lines. I'll discuss that in another video. But basically you want to get rid of anything that is wireless. So your cell phone, when you're not using your cell phone, have it far away from you or better yet, turn it off or put it in airplane mode. You want to switch from wireless routers to wired routers. So for example, I have kind of an older router and I have an ethernet cable that goes from my router to my computers. I also, when I watch TV, if I watch a movie, I, I don't have cable, but so if I watch something, it's on Netflix or Amazon, I run a, an ethernet cable to my Blu-ray player, which allows me to connect to either Netflix or Amazon. So I never have that wireless signal going. So these are all sources of, of wireless radiation and they all create inflammation. So some people can feel it. A lot of people can't feel it. So whether you can feel it or not, we have tons of published research showing that it does have a, a negative effect on our body. It creates inflammation. And when there's inflammation, you make less energy. It's also impacting a lot of people's sleep. So we've got a lot more to go. So I've talked about wireless routers, I've talked about your phone, your computer. So plugging in an ethernet cable to your computer is not enough. Your computer, most computers today, especially laptops, um, are, emit a, a Wi-Fi signal because they're looking for that signal to connect to. So you need to put your computer in airplane mode so you're not getting zapped from your computer. Printers, so most printers today connect by Wi-Fi and even if you hardwire them, my printer for example, I'm able to turn off the Wi-Fi signal but when I tested it with my meter, it's still emitting radiation. So I keep my, my printer unplugged except for when I need to use it. And then I plug it in, I print what I need to print, then I unplug it again. Same with modern TVs, so smart TVs. They also emit a Wi-Fi signal. So when you're not using your smart TV, you need to unplug it. Otherwise, you've got another source of radiation. What else? Newer cable boxes. So old school cable boxes, you used to communicate them with a, a remote control that had infrared. The newer ones are using a Wi-Fi signal. So when you're not watching your smart TV with your smart cable box, you need to unplug that as well. Uh, all these different um, things like Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, they also use a Wi-Fi signal to, to get the movies. So when you're not using these things, you've got to unplug them. I have an older Apple TV, which doesn't emit this, but the newer models of Apple TV now use a Wi-Fi signal. Also video gaming systems. So if you're a gamer or if your kids are gamers, these systems are also emitting wireless radiation and a lot of kids like the wireless controllers. If you're a parent and you're concerned about your child's health, make sure if you're gonna allow them to play video games, A, make sure they're wearing their blue blockers, B, make sure they're using a wired controller as, a ver as opposed to a wireless controller because those emit radiation too and uh, it's impacting your children. When, their when your children aren't using those video games, make sure they unplug them. Your wireless keyboard and mouse, which a lot of people like to use, those are also emitting Bluetooth radiation. So it's a pulse radiation, it's very unhealthy for you. Go back to a wired keyboard and a wired mouse so you can reduce that radiation. Also, if you have in-home cordless phones that operate through old school, through old school through telephone lines, go back to a wired home phone. Your wireless 
cordless phones are constantly emitting radiation and the radiation they emit is even stronger than that of a cell phone. So those are very bad news. Uh, really, it's a really big source of radiation. You want to get rid of those. Baby monitors. So if you have a baby, when my, when my son was born, some of the gifts we got were these wireless baby monitors. Immediately, I was not a fan. My significant other was a fan. She felt she needed them. I brought my meter over and showed her how much radiation they put out, and suddenly she was no longer a fan. But it's basically like sticking a Wi-Fi router right next to your child's crib when you have those things. They put off a very strong signal. If you really feel the need to monitor your child, you can get a wired baby monitor so you're not microwaving your baby. Uh, and then new appliances. So all these new appliances, they call them smart appliances. I call them dumb appliances. But all these new smart appliances emit Wi-Fi radiation. So they can communicate with smart meters. So the utility companies know how much power you're using for what. If you're, if you're shopping for new appliances, you want to do your research and find one that is not a smart appliance, that is not emitting this wireless radiation. Now, back to the router. When you wire up your router, if you have a Wi-Fi router, you want to turn off that Wi-Fi signal. Some of the newer models do not allow you to do that, so one thing you can do is you can wrap it up in aluminum foil. They also sell bags that you can put over them that limit the radiation, so that's one option. As far as the cabling goes, you want to make sure you're using a CAT 6A or CAT 7 Ethernet cable because they're shielded. The older, I think it's CAT 5 cables and CAT 3, they emit radiation. So make sure you get a shielded Ethernet cable. I'll put links below for these different products. If you live in a bigger house and running Ethernet cables all over your house just doesn't make sense, you can also have, they sell these plug-in things where you plug them into a wall socket and it's Ethernet over your electrical wiring in your house. That's one option. I'll, there's a, I'll put a link below to some different units you can use. Another option is Ethernet through your coaxial cable. So they sell these things called Mocha adapters. Now I believe you need to have a cable box to use these Mocha adapters. So if you ditched your cable, uh, this is probably not an option for you, though you may want to research a little deeper. I used to have these in my old house because I had, I had a TV, I had three floors, and my, uh, my modem was on the top floor, or, or my router, and then I had a TV on the bottom floor. So I got one of these Mocha adapters since I had cable down there and it worked like a charm. It was awesome. Uh, before I knew any better, I actually tried to get a signal booster so my smart TV would work in my basement. And fortunately, I just couldn't figure it out. I could not get it to work. I did some more research. And around this time, I also found out about the harms of radiation. I got one of these, some of these Mocha adapters. They worked great. So you've got a lot of different options to go wired. This is gonna reduce the wireless radiation in your home and that's the radiation that's closest to you so really start with that a lot of people that do this myself included i had a big improvement in my sleep when i made these changes and with better sleep comes better energy a lot of people also have an improvement in tinnitus or tinnitus which is ringing in the ears so a lot of us get sensitive to this emf radiation causes ringing in the ears sleepless nights irritability there's a whole host of different symptoms these are some different mitigation things you can do to reduce your exposure, uh, improve your sleep, improve your energy, and uh, give these things a, a try. If you have questions, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to address them. But check out the comments section for links to these different items I talked about. Go ahead and do it. Make your home safer, not just for you, but for your family. And I think you'll really find that everything, as far as your health goes, gets a lot better. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you found value in it, share it. This affects us all today. We're all inundated with tons of wireless radiation. It's causing us harm.
whether you think it is or not, we've got the research that shows it's having a deleterious impact on your health. So make these changes, let me know how they work, and I'll see you again soon in another video. Thank <laughs> you.